Alright, share love tea here, and we're checking out Park Mystica on Core Games. This one's by Creator, Creator Hero V. Welcome to Park Mystica. You are the visitor in a strange theme park where there is no escape. There are many odds to odd things to discover, secret areas, and see what it, it see what it is all about. It should be, or see what is all this about. Okay. All right. Official note, this game is still in development. There will be an update every Sunday. Yeah, so the creator is often on uh, Discord. Um, so I've got to see some progress as as he's been building this game. And he's done a lot on this game. And he's a very cool guy. Uh, you can see people are giving some shoutouts. I gave them my little heads up that I was going to make this Let's Play. And Harrow is in the, the chat saying hello YouTube. So yeah, this is the main entrance to the game. Very cool park. I really, really love it. I uh, like Definitely very talented artist here. I mean Those guys are often compliment me on my art, but I'll tell you this is, this looks great really really nice entrance here so we're gonna run through you have a teleport station but if you haven't opened those areas yet you won't be able to teleport there so we'll just go through the main way we have a high scoreboard we're gonna take a look over there I might be on the high scoreboard achievements I don't have very many achievements tokens okay I'm on the token board Cool. Whoa. Wait a second. Somebody's at one... What is that? One million? Almost a million and a half? Tokens already? Ooh. Very speedy. So this game just, just came out and somebody's been hitting it up like a madman. So when you start off, you have this main area. We have three different rides here. We have the gravity dance, which is very cool. Um, you get to swim around in thin air here. This is this was my main way to save up. So um, to, to unlock the next area, I had to get to 25,000. I'm already at my 25,000 mark, but we're gonna take a look at these rides nonetheless so this was my go-to uh, for getting tickets as long as you're patient um, and don't get pushed out it's a pretty reliable way to make tickets so pretty cool there you have this this is where you come to sell your tickets and then that gives you gold coins this is a ticket collector, which we're going to grab right now, put it on our back. So it costs you 5,000 tickets to, to purchase it. Once you already have it purchased, you just have to come here to equip it when you enter the game. And it gives you 5 tickets per 5 seconds. So that's pretty convenient, so you could pretty much idle anywhere you want and still be getting tickets. Now this ride is awesome, like look at this. Look at the effects on I love how this moon, um, whatever those lights are, they, you know, uh, they start, they cover up almost the whole moon and as it opens up, the lights go outwards. It reveals more of the moon uh, material there. And I, I think that really, really looks awesome. So this ride, we want to wait for our seat, get in the right spot. And then when you see the trigger pop up, you press F, and your character will take a seat and have a little ride. So, uh, this ride's really, really well made. Uh, I think it looks awesome, honestly. And it doesn't go too fast, so it doesn't give you, like, doesn't give you vertigo or anything. It's um, easy on the eyes, and it's a cool, cool spot to just hang out for a little while. And uh, 
save up your tickets. I think you get a certain amount of tickets for being on the ride. So we're gonna hop off. It's very cool though. Um, and as you see, if you hop anywhere in the middle, like not on the ride, it just respawns you to the gate. So when you're ready to hop off, it's nice and quick. You're back where you wanna be. So that's the second ride there. We have this teleports us back to the lobby where we started at the main gate there. We have skins that we could buy here that cost a certain amount of tokens which I'll, I'll save up and get these later on. But a cool uh, range of different you know robot. I really like this one here. This is this would be my go-to Mr. TV. But they're all very cool. Then over here we got the spacewalk. So this is a pretty cool ride. Um, it's a little tricky um, to stay in it sometimes. And then sometimes you just... Once you get the hang of it though, you can stay in here pretty long. And yeah, there's, there's different achievements you could get for doing different things. Staying on the spacewalk for a certain amount of time will unlock an achievement. Um, saying hi in the chat gives you a, an achievement, which is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool achievement because it actually um, gets people to say hi. No reason not to be social and be be kind to each other while you're gaming. Life's a, life's a lot happier when you're outgoing. So for all of you guys living in your shells, you know, try and find a way to get out of that if you can. So yeah, um, kind of makes you feel like a hamster, <laughs> the giant human hamster wheel here. But I mean, really cool idea, I mean, it's almost like an obby, oh there we go, see I got an achievement that popped up there. So we're going to save our tickets for now, because I'm, I'm guessing in the next area they're going to sell for more. So I believe through this gate is where we want to be going. So Lotus Pass, 25,000 tokens. Alright, unlocked. So I have no idea what's going on in here. We've got some fishing. You're not actually catching fish, you can see at the bottom it pops up. It's either tickets or tokens. So that seems to work pretty good. Take the fishing rod and start fishing. Since we don't want to harm animals, we decided to use our own prizes. Oh, look at that cute little story about it. Who would have thought? Herjo is a, a, such a sweet man. Doesn't want to harm the fishies. And it, his name's a little bit difficult. So sorry Herjo if I'm not pronouncing your name. Right, some days I know I'm pretty I'm pronouncing it right. Some sometimes I don't. So 
So pretty cool. You, could, you collect the tickets pretty quick from there. And this is what I thought. So this sells for times four instead of times two. And we've got an upgraded ticket collector here for 20,000 tokens. So that's going to be probably a little while before we get there. And we've got a coaster. Now this, now this, I, I'm hoping this works properly because I love a good coaster. I was very excited uh, for this game. Um, at some point I'm going to do a devlog on the theme park. I'm also building a theme park so when I found out Herjo was making a, a theme park as well uh, it was very exciting. You know, we got to talk about uh, different ideas and uh, he definitely went a different uh, direction kind of than me that we our rides are different uh, you know we've done a lot of different stuff so and it's there's just so much you could do uh, theme parks are such a great great um, theme for <laughs> lack of better words um, because you could re really just do about anything you want <coughs> you know you want to do superheroes you want to do cartoons you want to do uh, anime, uh, uh, you know, you name it. Especially coasters, you could do dark rides. You could, you know, uh, one thing I enjoy watching on um, on YouTube is Planet Coaster uh, builds, and some of the builds that, that people build over there is are just it's really really something else. Um, you know, you have you have the rides that they give you, but then you could really customize them to your liking. That was really fun. I think we're gonna go we're gonna go through that coaster one more time because that is awesome. A really great job. You know, the um, Herjo said he, he wants to decorate decorate this a, probably a bit more. So right now it's uh, you know there's some empty areas, but I think the layout so far works so that you know you come around this corner and look at this view right here look at that I love the colors that gate looks awesome it's like lit up there you got a cool samurai off to the right there really dope man and you have this bridge and these stairs that look really cool you go but I don't think you could ever actually walk around that area, so just there to tease you. Look at that, what? So sick. Now, for anybody interested in building their own coaster on um, Core, there is a CC to help you guys out called Cozy Coaster by Grunwalk. Grunlock made Marble Tycoon, a uh, very cool creator. I've, I've talked, uh, spoken with him a, a bit too. And um, yeah, so you, you would just have to, to rearrange it to your to your liking, but it definitely is a lot of work. Um, you know, Herjo definitely did a lot of work to change this around and to make it how, how it is. And I think he did a great job. Everything seems to line up and work really well so what else do we have here we have the winter fair this is probably our next area to get to but it looks like yeah we're blocked from there what's this gonna cost us 150k ballers ballersville i ain't got the i got no tokens for that so we're gonna have to find so that we saw what the fishing and the coaster so there must be a third one. Is this the third one? What is this? Enter the Cursed Forest. Intriguing. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Now what? Can I get by there?
How am I supposed to get by there? Is it seems like there's an invisible wall or something blocking me. But that shouldn't be. It looks like... I mean, it looks like you should be able to hop over that log and then keep going. Hmm. I mean, I could ask him in the chat right now. Or we could just stick to the fishing or something for now. Let's see. Oh, we have more skins here. The Festival Dragon. 15,000. Okay. So it looks like the other spots are empty for now. Oh. Purchase name. What does that mean? I'm not really sure what that means. Dude, I have 5,000 tokens. Let's see what it does. Oh. What? Alright, so I'm not really sure what happened there. So we purchased this one that just said name. And then it seemed like these two were, and those, all these were the same. And then this is something else. But, this looks like the same thing as this festival dragon one, which is 15,000 tokens. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I mean, maybe there should be some kind of, um, something there to indicate that you're supposed to crouch. Like, maybe a down arrow. I would put a down arrow on it. And then have an up arrow for this one, showing that you want to jump over it. And then, I mean, this, this part's pretty straightforward. But, uh, no, no, what happened there? We got... <laughs> we got launched for no reason. We got sucked into the abyss. All I had to do was jump through the portal and get all my bonus tickets. So you don't want to dilly dally. Let's hop in there before it. Yeah. Get our tickets. Yeah, so that. So this is similar in the way of, uh, what was it, the gravity walk or whatever from that first area. Because it's, once you know what you're doing, and you have the timing right, oh, not like that though, but yeah, it, you know, once you get the hang of it, it could become a guaranteed ticket maker. 
which is nice. 125,000 tickets or tokens for the next area. So I like uh, I like this design of um, this rake gravel. It's like very um, Japanese. Japanese, uh, what would you call that? Their, their common garden, Zen garden, or whatever. Especially with the pinks and uh, you know these, these little hills. Um, they look like mini mountains versus like little hills, really. Just the way it's done. Very, very cool. So we're already at 13,000 though, so we're making our way. We're getting there. get hit by that <laughs> by that last rock there. <laughs> yeah, so once you know to crouch it makes a lot more sense. But I mean this game was just released like literally yesterday so there's a lot of tweaks and a lot of updates probably still to come so it, I can imagine it's only gonna get better and more fun and more additions and like look at this dragon here look how awesome that is eh? really cool I mean we have the same one on our head but like, just crouching over there with the arms coming out on the sides. Really, really cool. I dig it. Share love approved. So yeah, I mean, I, I believe we're gonna actually, we'll go back to the lobby just to take a look. Um, we know for sure there's three areas, right? We've been to two and we can see a third winter one there. Uh, let's take a look at the teleport station. So we've done space, blossom, uh, and we're on blossom. And winter will be our next one to unlock. Then we have pirate, wonder, and desert. So six, wor six different areas in all. So a lot to sink your teeth into. Um, I mean, wow! Look at that moon in the distance there. Or not even really in the distance. It's actually like sitting right on the planet with us. What else can we see from up here? Okay, so I believe this is a VIP area of some sort. What, is, what do we have to do here? Let's see. I believe until we rebirth, we won't really... Yeah, we can't really use any of this area until we've rebirthed. Oh, we have all these that I haven't even claimed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All the tickets. Give me all the tickets. A thousand tickets? What? What, suckers? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Okay, get that right here now. So we have completed and active. 
Ah, yes. Drink the Forbidden Potion. Drink the Forbidden Potion in Cursed Forest. Hmm. We were in Cursed Forest, but I didn't see a potion. Let's go back there. So let's teleport from here. Should work. Hello? Portal to space works for sure. Um, for some reason, the blossom one didn't want to work. That's all right. It's not too far. All right. So it was cursed forest, right? Which is this? Yes. Okay. Where is this potion? Sneaky is this potion. Where, where did he hide it? Which way did he go, Pa? Which way did he go? We know if we drop down there, we're going to respawn, right? So there must be a kill zone. Can we get to this house without dying? No. Hmm. Good, I like that. Good one. So let's take a look at our... Press R, our brings up our achievements. So we should have one... Yeah, a thousand tickets. What? 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 And, uh... Is there anything else we could do? Survive so five minutes in spacewalk. Five minutes? My goodness. Uh, survive 30 minutes in spacewalk. Is that collectively? Or in one sitting? Survive one hour? No. <laughs> I gotta ask him. That's... Because if you have to do that in one sitting, that seems absurd. Because I, I think it's, I think it w would be doable. 
but that's still <laughs> that's still an hour and you have to hope that this pray pray to the uh, the gods of the digital world that you don't get glitched out of it at some point for, for, for whatever reason I, I think you're supposed to be able to catch this red ribbon. I've yet to do it though. And I don't know what it does. Or if, if it's just there to tease you. I think you're supposed to be able to catch it. I think I was pretty close to touching it there, so I don't know if you could get it or not. At least I haven't been able to. I don't think, yeah, unfortunately, Perjo uh, le left before he answered, but, um, yeah, I, I, I'd have to imagine it would be collectively, not all in one sitting. Like, the five minute one kind of makes sense, but, but if you have to make it for an hour, that's... I don't, I think uh, some people do it, but you'd have to be pretty dedicated. Most of the casual players probably wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that for an hour. Then again, look at me go. Now, I, I have an Xbox 360 controller that I do use to game sometimes. Um, on the most part, I always use the keyboard and mouse when I play Core or any other platform like this because there's so many game, different game genres um, to switch between. So sometimes the keyboard and mouse just happens to be better. But... Um, it's definitely no noisy and I have a very clicky keyboard which is enjoyable to use but unfortunately it's very loud oh we can't close to that ribbon come on give me that first place prize I want to be the most beautiful pig at the at the award show this year <laughs> a drago a drago the festival little dragon. Another game I wanted to cover on the channel was uh, Theme Park Tycoon, which uh, you could build your own theme park in there, and for the first hour or so, it works reasonably well. And that at a certain point, once you're you've built out too many, uh, too much stuff on the map, it starts to bug out. So unfortunately, I was in the process of trying to make a video, and the game got very buggy, and then I never got a video out on it. But if at any time Afrim or the other Wambros or any of the other creators that worked on that game wanted to get back on it and fixed it. Um, it has the potential to be a very good game. And I'm, I'm a, actually probably a bigger fan of theme parks in video games even than real life. I, I like going to them in real life too, but 
I've never been a, a roller coaster fanatic, really. I mean, if I'm with other people that want to go on them, I'll go on them. But if it was up to me, I wouldn't even bother. I, I much, I have a, I have a, a lot of fun playing the games, like uh, all those games that cost way too much just to win a, a stuffed animal. <laughs> But it's the process of trying is fun. Even though most of them are near unwinnable. Alright, so we at least made the five minute one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's, before we... Oh, and actually we shouldn't sell our tickets here. That was close. So we claim those, but <coughs> we want to head back to this other area and sell it to the Times 4 booth. Seems a little bit smarter. And we're at 50,000. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we could purchase this. Hmm. Is it worth it? Let me work it. That's about all I know of the lyrics. I would have went a little bit further with that, but... After that, I don't really know what she's saying. So we got a times six booth over there. Hmm. Doesn't look like much going on in the area, though. We have at least one, one something or other in that house. A very small area. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, guys, let's ride this coaster one, one more time as we wind down the video. I'm having a, I'm having a really fun time with this game so far. <coughs> I think as he adds more decorations and more areas and polishes it up, uh, this is going to be a hit. This game is just, it's great. It's great. I like the, I like the ticket system. Uh, the UI is well done. Um, you have a rebirth, uh, which is always good for extended gameplay. All around just very, very good game. So. For, if you guys are looking for it, it is Park Mystica. It's currently in open beta, and it's by creator creator Hero V on Core Games. So check it out, guys. Until next time, share love out.